Welcome to episode 15 of Deeper Perspectives, the number one spearfishing podcast ever. Uh, today I bring you a product review of the Salvamar Intruder 60. I always forget what it's called because they just call it the Noisy Cricket. That's probably what they should have called it too. Um, you'll notice it no longer has a shaft. Uh, more on that later. So obviously the gun originally did come with a shaft. Uh, you can see right there. I think it's a six and a half millimeter. It's a threaded shaft and that four prong tip. It's got some different ones too, uh, but we're just testing out. I think it's called the speed tip. Uh, obviously this gun would be really good for shooting in holes, um, and potching and stuff like that. But I wanted to see how you, you know, what kind of fish you could get in open water with it. Uh, the the barbs on this thing actually held really well. I uh, shot that Rory and he ran around a rock and had time to thrash and stuff. And the barbs still hold him pretty good. Um, and they really don't mess up the fish. It's a, it's a lot less than a three-prong, I guess because the three-prong spreads out. And these barbs don't. Uh, here I'm going for another Rory. You can see him poking his head out over there. Uh, he just does his normal thing. I think here he just swims around a rock and then flutters his fins and stares at me. This is a good gun for shooting these because you know, you're always pretty close to a Roy. And a lot of times you shoot him in a hole. The the tip doesn't really stone them, but they don't move much. Um, they really can't because they're skewered in four places. I like also you don't really have to aim too much with the tip. You just kind of fire away because really you just have to be close. You know, you got those four prongs. Chances are one of them's going to whack it. Uh, this time, a manini got in the way. I just threw the gun. Uh, I wanted to see what kind of fish you could get, you know, besides just Mimpachi and stuff. So, tried for this Uku. Got him in pretty close. Um, but, once he stretched out the line, the barbs did rip off. And I have some ideas about ways I could uh, prevent this. But I haven't got a chance to test them out yet. Good news is, it's really easy to reload this gun. So, just put the band back on and took down that little pachi. Goats. This is a goat slayer, the noisy cricket, because they're always sitting right in front of you. Um, when they're that close, you get really good penetration, but you don't always get all four or even one of the, the barbs through. You can see uh, it flies pretty true until the very end, but you know it's better to shoot the fish. I like how you can just shoot from the hip right there. Didn't aim at all. Um, I was shooting free shaft because I thought the muzzle was a little small and the crimp was hitting it, and I wanted to put a uh, hollow core spectra and just braid so I didn't need a crimp. But instead, I went free shaft. So a pretty big omilu came around. Um, and this one I actually got, luckily, because he swam over the edge after I shot him. And uh, I was able to grab the spear and pin him in. Um, but I did eventually lose the shaft doing that to another Omilu. Uh, so, probably want to tag up. Uh, somewhere in that mess there was a Pananu. Um, I got kind of lucky, I think, on, on this Pananu. And it was turned away from me, so you're able to kind of get the barbs... Um, all the little prongs under those scales and so it holds because the the uhus man they have armor they were tough to get um, the, the gun comes in other lengths though too I think 60 might be the smallest but uh, I'm pretty sure it comes in a 90 maybe even more um, and it would be good just all around reef gun it's really cheap the 60 retails like 100 bucks or something like that um, so Go get one and pick up an extra shaft while you're at it.